Days, it's pretty uh, heartbreaking chatting to you after a game like that, but uh, what, what are you feeling at the moment? Oh, a mixture of bitter disappointment, um, which I think you'd expect, and but also proud of you know the effort that we put out there tonight. Went right down to the wire. Um, you know, all Mick asked from us tonight was just our hundred percent best effort, and to be able to walk out off here there with our heads held high. So, although you know a few moments in the game didn't go our way and the Bulldogs got the better of us, um, yeah, you, you sort of can't fold our effort to dig deep and hang in there and find a goal into the wind in that last quarter. Um, and what we've put together as a group, relatively inexperienced group across the season, you, you've got to be proud of. But there's no denying that when we don't get to play next week and this means it's all over, it's, yeah, bitterly disappointing. What were you feeling at a minute 26 when you hit the front and then when the final siren sounded? What, what were the two sort of contrasting emotions then? Um, oh, yeah, like real optimism. As soon as we kicked that goal, I sort of backed ourselves to be able to grind out those last few minutes as we did against Brisbane. Um, we went very close. I thought our back line were tremendous in those dying minutes. Um, and then, yeah, just one bad stoppage where we didn't quite adjust for the wind. We hadn't had many boundary throw-ins um, on that side of the ground just because of where the wind was going. So, yeah, just weren't prepared for it to drop that side. Um, probably should have played that a little bit smarter and just gave them way too much room. So once that shot went in, um, I knew we were up against it. But, um, yeah, credit to the team to just keep finding it, try and find an inside 50 and another goal into that breeze. But, yeah, your heart just sinks. I mean... We, this whole season, the minute we got together as a team, it's to play next weekend and give ourselves an opportunity at the Cup. And the reality is that we're not going to get that. So, yeah, it's disappointing. But you have to just walk walk off and try and stick together as you do in the wins and the good times and try and come back, use this for next year. How tricky was the wind? I mean, it looked pretty incredible watching on, but what was it like to actually play? Oh, it was hard work, um, which, yeah... You really do need to capitalise when you're kicking with it because the minute that you're going against it, it was hard to run into. I felt like I was running backwards at times. But, um, yeah, I mean, credit to our work rate. I thought Paxman, I just heard she didn't even come off the ground all night. Um, her effort to create herself an opportunity um, with that goal that she kicked in the second quarter was inspirational. Just her running ability to get up there and just her effort across the whole game, you know, is you know she just lived out our trademark and exactly you know what we all want from each other so um yeah it was hard going though yeah, yeah. i guess just finally just summing up the season how would you sort of uh i guess sum it up in a couple of words um how would i sum it up in a couple of words oh, i'm proud of how much we've learnt and grown as a group i mean we had quite a bit of change in terms of our list coming into the the year and backed in a couple of um inexperienced girls to hold down key positions and um, the amount that they've grown and improved and all of us uh, I feel like uh, the coaches every week are just giving us all their time and energy to try and make us better footballers and when you see it and feel it coming out in games it's really rewarding but like I said um, ultimately we wanted to play in the grand final so there's disappointment there but we've just got to use that for next next year and um, you know, keep keep using the resources that are available to us and use this as hunger to, to want to get better and improve. But I'm proud of what we've done, but, yeah, we, we're we not there next week, so it's disappointing ultimately. We're all proud of you, all the Red and Blue fans, so well done, Days, on your season and uh, leading again. Did a great job, so thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks, Fergus. Good